So former RBA player Sebastian Telfair makes claims that I would usually view as ridiculous, but considering the player that he's talking about, I realized that we have a cheater on our hands, so this wouldn't be beyond the realm of possibility. But Sebastian Telfair states that he believes that LeBron James could actually play until 60 years old. I mean, realistically, when you look at LeBron, how many more years do you think he has? Realistically, it depends on how long he wants to play. Well, you could want to play, but at some point, you're just not at the level of being able to He's play. He's averaging 25 plus this year, right? That's what I'm saying. So, right. obviously... So if he don't mind averaging 18, LeBron can play for another five years. Five years. Okay. Well, let's take a look. How old is LeBron right now? 39. 39. So, he could play to 45. 44. Damn, I got going to do my boy like that. If he wants to. If he wants to, I think he can. Because the game slowed down to him. He can shoot the ball. If LeBron was a great free throw of, like, it'd be over. He can play till he's 60. Right, because I heard he spends, what, $2 million a year on his, on body, his body? Brian, Braun, Braun is the prototype what to do to be the best basketball player you can be. Well, one day, these gullible, childlike mind, ignorant LeBron James fans will one day wake up and realize that La Santa Claus just isn't real. The whole, I spend a million dollars on my body per year, it's all a cover-up. It's an illusion. It's all smoking mirrors. It's a magic trick. It's to distract you, to believe that just because this man is spending a million dollars per year on his body, this is the reason that he's been unbreakable. This is the reason that he's a so-called machine. It's a distraction. It's all to lead you to believe that just because LeBron James has the best doctors, he has the best trainers, that this is the reason he's been so durable and has been able to play thus long. But it's all a fallacy. It's all one big lie, ladies and gentlemen. It's the equivalent of a magician, a master illusionist, saying to an audience who paid to see a magic show and says, pay attention, boys and girls, look closely. As I turn this human being into a freak of nature, I have this special magic and I'm going to make this freak of nature type of player. He's going to be able to defy father time. He's going to be the most durable player of all time. He's never going to sustain any major injuries and he uses his magic wand. And then you have LeBron James, not knowing if you look up under his arm, he has a bottle of EPO, a bottle of steroids. Allegedly, he poured it into LeBron James, and that's how he's able to continue to play all these years. Allegedly, that sounds preposterous, doesn't it? It sounds unreal, doesn't it? Well, that's how stupid you broad sexuals look, believing that a player like LeBron James could be the only RBA player of all time. He's been able to play 21 years, still playing at the same pace and did it all naturally. LeBron James is not aging like fine wine. He's actually aging like spoiled milk. It's just that the league continues to change the expiration date. Now, I don't know if this is Sebastian Telfair's desperate attempt at trying to make a comeback to the RBA. Because this right here is taking glazing to a whole nother stratosphere. Ew. Yuck. And I know that your cousin, Stefan Marbury, has to be highly disappointed because you let him down. You let the whole hood down. Going up there and praising LeBron James, knowing that he's the most overrated player that ever existed. Knowing that there's players in your hood that's 10 times better than LeBron James. This is clearly taking glazing to a whole nother level. He doing so much glazing, he might as well open up his own donut shop. I mean, I get it. You played with LeBron. You and LeBron entered the league together. Y'all both were considered the top prospects in the nation. But, and at some point, we have to be realistic about this situation. Since 03, now we're in 2024. The man has been playing for 21 years. And you don't think that's highly suspicious? You're not going to question whether this man is on steroids allegedly? Like, it doesn't make sense. It's not adding up. Even with a calculator, it's not adding up, people.
If this were any other player, they would have covered this on the news year round. All Kobe did was go to another country after he got injured. And they speculated. They said that Kobe Bryant went to another country to get steroids. TMZ covered it day and night. Now, this goes back to what I've been saying. What Sebastian Telfair is stating is no different than what I've been saying on record on my channel for the past couple years. Which is that they keep moving the timeline further and further away. Way. They've been saying this since LeBron James was 34, 35 years old. LeBron could play another four more years. Then those four years go past. LeBron could play another four more years. Those four years go past. LeBron could play another four more years. So at some point, we have to question, what is this guy doing that's allowing him to stay around this long? And it can't be because he's taking care of his body. Because players like Carl Malone was taking care of his body. Carl Malone even played a reduced role on a super team and still got injured so how is it that lebron james who's still playing heavy minutes playing at the same pace and putting more wear and tear on his body than Karl malone but he's outperforming Karl malone and he's still able to stay around but Karl malone got injured and had to retire the math ain't mathing because if we go throughout the league has there not been players who have spent millions of dollars on their body make it make sense lebron james is just the only player in all the history can play until he's 60 years old but of course lebron james will be able to play until he's 60 years old why because he's on steroids allegedly i'm not sure if you guys have ever entered the rabbit hole if you guys are air quote conspiracy theorists but there's this thing called adrenochrome and what adrenochrome is is when these elite people these satanists they drink the blood of children i know this may be a little graphic but what they do is they like to scare children they chase the children and they say when you scare the children it makes the children blood fresher and what it does is it makes you look younger it makes you age slower it's a wicked industry and that's why i call lebron james the devil james Le Evil James. LeBron James is a part of that Hollywood cult. Allegedly. All this is alleged. And I wouldn't be surprised if LeBron James does both. Takes steroids allegedly and is into adrenochrome allegedly. And that's probably why Sebastian Telfair purposely threw the age 60 out there the number 60 which has the number six in it which is short for 666 the mark of the beast 